arrived. It's quite a long walk to this one with all the gear, but we're here. I've got the rods on the rest, as you can see behind me. I've got the reels on. I'm gonna get some rigs on there, and then I'm gonna come back to the camera, show you my setups, show you what I'm using. As the title suggests in the video, we're fishing for bull hooks. Anything over 10 pounds, I'd say, target achieved. We don't want the smaller ones. I'm using big baits, pulley rigs, big hooks, and I'm going for the big, big ones. So we have to see what happens. I've not fished here. It's gotta be, I don't know, a good eight years, probably, something like that, since I've fished here properly. So I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll get set up now, and we'll get fishing. First of all, I'll show you the rod and the reel I'm using. This is a sandstorm. It's 13 foot long and a fixed ball model. We then have a pen surf blaster on there. I'm using on here, the spool line is 20 pound Daiwa sensor surf. And then I've got an 80 pound shock leader. I'll show you the rig end. From the shock leader, as you can see there, I've got a trident tackle clip. It clips on to the pulley rig bead. Well, it's an aero pulley. It clips on to the aero pulley. And then I've got a pulley rig. The pulley rig is penalled. This hook at the bottom is a 6-0. The one above is a 4-0. And then comes down to the little roto clip, which we'll clip onto for casting. And I've also got it set up on a rotten bottom. Where I'm fishing, it's quite patchy. If you hit the reef, I'm not bringing this lead back. So I'd like something there to release the lead to hopefully get the rig back. So that's the setup. I'll go and chuck some bait on now and we'll get cast out. I'll show you some baiting up later on. Wanna get a fish? Well, we've got them both fishing now. It's just a case of waiting and see what happens. I'm gonna give it around 30 minutes. If nothing happens, I'll pull the baits in, give the baits a check for crab activity. If the crab activity is bad, I'll have to start doing a 15 minute check. If there's nothing happening with the baits, I'll probably leave them out for 40, 45 minutes. But we'll see how it goes now. Both rods are out. Well, just brought in a little dogfish. It's not the target, but it's a fish. There you go. We've been looking for its bigger cousin, the bullhuss. But yeah, it's a nice little dogfish there. Let's get him back. Well, it's not the target size, but that is a little baby huss. You can tell it's a bullhuss by the nasal flaps right here. If I close its mouth, you'll see there, look, it's got little nasal flaps right there. And generally, they've got quite a large mouth compared to a dogfish. And then sometimes they're darker with bigger spots. But as you can see, the spots on this are pretty much like a dogfish. So people do get mistaken. But yeah, when you hold these, don't bend them really hard, obviously, but put the tail and the head together in a little circle. The skin this way, if you can hear that, it's rough. That way, it's smooth. Usually they'll wrap around you and they'll give you like a sandpaper burn, make you bleed a little. But, let's get it returned. Target species, but not the target size. Well, we've had dogfish number two. Not the target, but... There's something coming in, it's better than seeing nothing. So get this unhooked and we'll get it chucked back. Well, that's the end of the session. Unfortunately, didn't have any big huss, just those two small dogs and that little baby huss. But we got out fishing, we had a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.